What's up? My name is Caesar J and welcome back to the Caesar J vlog channel. Today, you know what? Got delivery. I think it was around about a week ago of my DLR strip flexi add-on without having to go through the headlight type of light strip. So I'm gonna walk you guys through actually installing it. Young review. I've already kind of cut it up, so I'll just show you how it is and how it should work and how to connect it, especially on the VW because the problem with the VW is that your indicator lights are not within your headlights. They're actually at a bottom piece on the older models which mine is a 2013 model so i'm just going to walk you through how i actually put it in and please bear with me i don't have a tripod yet kind of lost well don't have a tripod still need to get a tripod but let's go let's do this As I said, there we go. You got your headlight, and then you've got the indicator lights there at the bottom. Ideally, what I'm about to do is pretty much have the first section done. Um, pretty much. Oh, there we go. Got the bolts out, headlight out. Now comes the difficult part because uh, I don't know if you guys can see this clearly. I hope you can. What I have there is that I have my turning signal light right here on this side. And then I have my daytime running light. Not really daytime, but that light, that kind of daytime running light over here. Instead of me cutting through the wires, what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to loop it through here into this waterproof plug and onto the bolt itself. I mean, onto the bulb itself. And... Uh, Hopefully, when this light is on, daytime will be on with it. The moment I indicate, then the indicating light with the loading will go at the same time. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to actually extend the wires. Because the wires that I have are pretty much too short. And to show you guys how the package comes, it's pretty much this little cable here. When you look on the back, you'll be able to see little LEDs right there at the back just to give you guys a bit of lighting you'll see the leds just here at the back you've got your double-sided mirror tape i don't know if it's m2 m3 but you got that over there and then you've got this box here that does all the controlling and the three wires which is your positive your indicator and your ground this is going to be going to the daytime running light well the yeah daytime running light this is going to go to the indicator and this is going to go to the actually no i repeat this is going straight to the battery this is going to the daytime running light power source and the black is going to the ground of the daytime running light and that is how the whole connection is going to and maybe i should just show you guys a little demo um of how it exactly works and so what i'll pretty much do is as i said this will go over here to the power and then ground which is going to go to a daytime running light ground and it is on that's how you have it now to get to the indicator what you do is that you have this cable which is the yellow one and the moment you touch it down it'll do the loading so the way that i'm doing it up down up down which is your loading right now if you have it there which is your hazards it will also do that so that's pretty much how the connections work. And uh, let me get to it and actually get this working. So boys and girls, I'm practically almost done. Eh? Because I have the connection, I actually don't even need to take it straight to the battery. Um, I kind of bypassed it, but it's still waterproof. Because there is a rubber within this. So that's still regulated. That's good. Um, that's waterproof. When it comes to this one here, I'm putting the wires directly onto the ports over here. Because it's also waterproof, um, once I push this in, this will pretty much just go around it. And ideally, after that, everything should work. I mean, it's practically already working, but it needs to have always having power on. But I got the shandies working. 
and uh, to get it working completely it goes be on and I just need to have this cable here connected and everything should work excellently and perfectly so let me just finish that off and you will be able to see when I'm done with the product on one side now that I'm done with the one side it's time for us to move on to the other side but guys this thing looks oof. so guys you go to the final step now pretty much get yourself a cloth and make sure you wipe it down you might have a clean car or whatnot but please make sure you wipe it down because you don't know about the dust that has accumulated over time but pretty much pretty much done have everything in the way i use pretty much a lot actually but have everything in it's loading nicely it's looking good maybe i should just leave it like this but nah can't do that but yeah done i mean let me just look at it again Oof. just look at it ah but yeah um that is a review if not yeah review and installation of vlr lights on the vw shrub i'll try and get a diagram and just show it after this for a good five seconds that you can actually stop and do your own configuration if you have a vw but you know what it came out good it came out right it's looking fresh ha just look how it looks right now <laughs> so let's go let's do this let's see how it looks complete job Completely done. <sighs> okay. Dude, this thing looks angry, boy. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Ooh. Okay, it looks dope. I don't lie. Welcoming Kenny to the vlog. I don't lie. It looks freaking dope. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What the bomb puzzle. Dog, it's going the rock. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys. In actual fact, the way that these lights are loading is the wrong way around. They're not menu load inside, they're menu load outside. But, but we gotta be different. Yes. Dude! <laughs> Woo! Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning. If you guys like this video, please make sure you do like, make sure you do subscribe, and check me on the next video. Other than that, my name is Izu NJ. Thanks for following. Peace. This is with nothing on. <laughs> hey, bruh. This looks so good, guys. I'm sorry, but this looks so good. Oh my gosh, it just defined everything on this car. It just defined it all. I mean.